China is trying to cover up the genocidal intent behind the colonial boarding school system in Tibet through propaganda pieces featuring seemingly happy Tibetan students singing and dancing in Tibetan dress and eating good food in modern cafeterias on newly built campuses. But this is a huge distraction from the reality that the Chinese government is removing Tibetan children from their parents, their traditional culture and their communities and immersing them in a highly regimented and almost completely Chinese learning environment in order to make them identify first and foremost as Chinese citizens loyal to the Chinese Communist Party. These children don't learn about their own rich history and culture and the Tibetan language, their mother tongue, is taught as a single class, if at all. By showing the school yard and the dining uh, hall, those stuff, those are the facility. Facility cannot be evidence to justify the good education or bilingual education. It has nothing to do with the quality of the education or whose education. It's a simplifying the seriousness of the school education out here. Uh, it's not about facility. We're talking about the colonial ideology in the curriculum. Take action. Share this video. Share Tibet Action's Colonial Boarding School report with your elected leaders. Visit tibetaction.net for the report. Urge your elected officials to follow the US lead in imposing visa sanctions on China's officials tied to the assimilation of one million Tibetan children.